Hey, welcome to the Antarctic, folks. It's the first time you've ever been here or whatever, or if you've seen it in the past, we know we've seen this stuff. It's north side. Okay, this is just a little farther out shot, and it's on the north side, and I got it loaded up over here. Basically, you're going to see two suns. You're going to see one rise and set and go to the, which would be more than likely the east, and then to the west. This one will go. Our normal sun here, this should more than likely be Alarap to the right. Okay, it's all going to go up in size just a little bit. We'll go like 150. Let's see what it does. And basically, you'll see that there. So, I'm going to actually go right back down. So, anyway, you, as long as you know that we're basically shooting where we're shooting at. And then we'll just go down. Maybe 125 will fit. Here we go. We're going to watch the sun. Suns. We're going to go back down to 100, I guess, just to get it in. And here we go. And they, yes, they, this time of year they get a lot of sunlight in main reef because they're getting way more than one sun. And as you see, we've got our object again back. As I back up, we'll drop our, there you go. And it looks a little different every time. And there you go, you see a little bit more of it there. And there. Okay. So it's actually an object overhead. Alright, so we'll hit start again so that it plays through. As you see, almost 24 hours of daylight. Now remember, as I said that, and we get the one sun here. You have to watch that we're going backwards, I believe. Yes. No, we are going. Yeah, see, that goes ahead. So basically, you got to remember that I'm playing backwards right now. Okay. So that sun's going back towards the east right now. Okay. As you see, I just put it ahead. So, and then that's our object also. Basically, more than likely, this is probably formal hot, which could probably be pretty much known as B, uh, Nibiru, Planet X, Her. Nibay, uh, Nibiru, so forth, so on. Basically, it's formal hot, okay? And I'll be able to show you, because I stepped back there, okay? Now, so we're bringing the sun back to the east, okay? Let's bring it back to the east. And as we go back, remember, we took the sun back down where it came up at, in, in the east sky, okay? Now, watch the east. We got a sun setting in the east as I go back. And I'm still going back, and basically, that was about as much night as we're going to get, right, in this area is here, okay? Because that sun went back to the east. You're still getting daylight because of all the suns that are around, okay? Now, as I back up, you can see more dramatically that that sun goes to the east, and now comes up in the west. But it's a different sun, you see? And we're going, if you watch the clock, we're going backwards in time. Okay. So that went up over. Now watch. I'll draw that sun back to the east, and we're going to be going forward in time. And basically, more than more than that's more than likely Alarap. It's going to go down in the east. Now watch it go down. See, the sun just went down in the east, and that's Alarap. Okay, we have way more than one sun. And then here comes our sun with formal hot and then I'm going to back that up again for you a second and just watch the clocks you can see that's our sun in formal hot coming up from the east but to pay attention to the clock I showed you Alarap going down in the east and also coming up because it's that damn large Okay. Now this is what's only known by a very few basic scientists. And then, well, if somebody has got a lot of money funds them, then they've always known for a long time then. So anyhow, I've always showed you that there's Alarap and everything up there. Basically, I'm going backwards, I believe. No, I'm going forward in time. Okay, so here comes the sun, okay? And 
Yes, there goes the sun. Okay. Okay, so this is just what, what I'm doing is I'm not confusing myself. What I'm making you do is realize that as we step forward in time, and as you watch, I'm going to hit start and you watch the clock. And you're going to watch as we have Alaraf come up in the east and go down in the east because it's so darn large. And there's your shadow object, which is actually there. And it's not the moon, ladies and gentlemen. And you just back the video up and go where I showed you in slow motion. It's not no damn. There's, there's radar dome is on top of the building, ladies and gentlemen. If they need any other, they can just have a little GPS thing on top of it. They don't need no big ra uh, radar dome. And there goes the sun. Now, I'm going to go back. That's the sun coming up in the east and going towards the west. Okay? And yes, you're at the south pole. Okay? Once again, there goes our Alaraf sun. Down in the east. And here it goes down in the east. Actually, I jumped ahead a little bit too much because there goes the Alaraf up in the east. There's Alaraf coming up in the east. Because I'm going back in time. And I went back in time. Now, let's watch Alaraf basically go down in the east. Yeah, well, so you should be able to see it go down in the east, and then the sun will come up. There goes Alaraf. In the east. Here comes the sun. So, get a good factual that we have more than one sun, and that's why we have a lot of drought right now. Okay? Because basically... There's the sun coming up in the east. Back the video up. And you can see Alaraf coming up and going down in the east. Okay? Because that's our sun right there with our object. That basically is more than likely formal hot. And let me show you that. A scientist, did, I didn't, wouldn't say that he got kicked out, but check this out. Now here's your actual factual. There is a scientist. Uh, that's just memory that's an impression there to the right so relax on that and that's why i'm not even going to blow it up formal hot is the brightest star in the constellation pisces austrinus austrinus all right and basically the uh this one scientist went to uh you can see subject to meteor Logical atmosphere. And then there's some low mass objects. There's all kinds of stuff going on in space. They're finding all kinds of things. So anyway, as you see, Curry's team established the formal hot B is moving with a speed in direction consistent with the original idea of the planet's gravity is modifying the ring, okay? And there you go on all that, okay? So, remember he was once at NASA and now is at Toronto, University of Toronto. So this guy knows because he's seen it and basically he's got, whether he brought that other one with him on the team and they're they're in Toronto together or where it doesn't really at this point I guess it will matter but this is all actual factual okay so basically what everybody probably figures is Nibiru her planet X and everything like that it is there out in space and let's go to some other updates in space as you see there's shedding light on dark galaxies and so forth and you know in your mind that there's always 
billions of stars out there, and the stars are suns. There's way more than one sun, and especially close to us right here in the Milky Way galaxy, as you just seen on the Nehemiah footage. So anyway, they said the sample is basically like Hawaii, and I'll see if I got that one here, if I, if I already went by it. You got, as you see, we got violent star formations, dwarf galaxies. Man, this is interesting. I haven't checked this out. We'll go look at that in a minute. There's also pulsars, very interesting. And we caught a pulsar, remember, at the Hawaii camera. And the rest of the stuff is a bunch of garbage advertising. And as you can see, there is stuff from another galaxy coming into the Milky Way. Okay. Now I've seen this a while back. Can't remember if I read this or basically just seen it and kind of yep. Because we see the stuff on Soho all the time. Okay, and actually I'm gonna take you to a uh I'm not saying that it's come from another galaxy, but pretty much I guess I am. So let's check out a star that we've got basically showing up on Lasco tonight. Basically a comet. And it's pretty good damn size. And you'll see that in a second here. Hang on. And along with this article, just re read this here and make sure you read this. Beast with four tails, Milky Way devouring, neighboring dwarf galaxies. So we got to start keeping in mind that we're both basically who's eating who. We could be the beginning of a 3,000 year supernova. It could be a slow one. It's wild. We have to check all this stuff out. It's weird. Just keep in mind basically also the Milky Way. They're ejecting from Milky Way and also from other galaxies. And it's on this one shot. Basically, you don't see the sun, but it should be where the darker area is at. And as you see, we have these comets streaking through the sky right here. I got this blown up at whatever you see, 400% there. So you can see those comets coming by there. And then we pop over real quick to uh, the latest image on C2. And there you go. you got a comet, a falling star, and a remnant up by the sun, which is huge. It's probably more than likely bigger than Jupiter itself right there. And it, as we come down, you can see other remnants that's way close to the sun. We've known this stuff's been around for a long time. And each one of them is way bigger than even probably the combination of uh, Venus, Mercury, and Mars, and Earth all together there. And there's two of them. And they're probably each one of them bigger than than uh, those objects together combined. And that there is a huge remnant that we've known about for a long time. It's very well known. And actually there's a huge space in between these two objects right here. Even though it was probably originally one piece. And the sun constantly eats at that remnant. And then basically I will pop out of here. But I will blow over quickly. And I think I'll be able to get our comet back in here on this shot. There it is. So there's a comet caught, and you can see the tail on it right there. I think I can get it up. No, I got it up to 800 right now, so 1,000 ain't going to help me. And realize that Vino plays no magic. Here we go. We'll go to like 125, and there you go, and there's your comet up over there. So there is tons of stuff in space, ladies and gentlemen. We know it. And NASA needs to start showing us the names and not change the names of any objects in space. So... So if we see one sun rise and set in the east, NASA, we know that there's more than one sun that is in the Milky Way galaxy. So we know it, and we know there's other objects. As we just seen the shadows of that dark object go around. And remember, folks, if you think Mexico is hot, remember, don't go to the Mars, because basically that's why I told you that nothing grows there. It's too damn close to the sun. Too hot. And as you can see, you don't want to live on Mars. I will have to go a lot farther than Mars to find other minerals in the world besides the minerals that are on Earth. And more Beano fun on the picture on the right. Get your snapshot ready, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, let us blow it up. There you go. Just above the sandbox here, it looks like Nevada. Blow it up and take a look at it. Check this out. 
How real is this? Don't know. 